Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and I have a lot of energy for some reason. I don't know why, but to be fair, that last run we played as the good old tainted boy himself, tainted lost, and we did some amazing stuff. So this time we're going to play as regular Lazarus and try and unlock tainted Lazarus um, and give that a good go. See what we can do. Of course, it's kill himself McGee. We played as him pretty recently. Um... We got the Cursed Dice, which, if I remember correctly, is, um... Rerolls one of your curses and gives a black heart. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know why I just used it upon, like, trying to travel in here. That was foolish of me. But it it has been done. We get some Bobby Bombs. I like it. I like the Cursed Die a lot. It's real good. Um... We'll see if there's a, a more adequate place to kill ourselves first. Wow. Thanks for the troll bomb game. Thanks for the troll bomb. It's always difficult on days like today where I'm doing a backlog of multiple recordings to think up of like multiple questions of the day. Because normally my questions of the day kind of come from sort of my experience through the day. What's happened during that day? It gets a lot harder when... Uh, oh god. It gets a lot harder when I have to do multiple in one day. Because then I'm like, hey... What do I question of the day now? <laughs> what would it be now? I don't know. What's your favourite song? I've probably asked this before, but it's been a while. Those of you that have already answered, you can just give me your second favourite song. There you go. There you go. I... It's, it's obviously a very hard question, and some people will also say what I'm going to say here, but it's really hard to pin down one thing. For me, I think it's like... So, for me, it's like songs that have like a lot of meaning to me. Um... And one of them that I, I still really like is um, Starlight Brigade by uh, Tupperware Remix Party and Ninja Sex Party, which um, is just a really, really fantastic sort of rock opera style song. I don't know if it's exactly rock opera, but it's kind of like it tells a big long story sort of thing. It's quite a long song. But I first heard it at a concert I went to and I lost my shit. It was amazing. Ooh, the good item. Lizzie is a good item. Um, like, it was just so good. It was like, like, I've never really had, like, a proper sort of experience with music. Some people will be like, oh my god, this, listen to this song was such an experience for me. I never really got that, really. Thank you, Copper Bomb. <laughs> I never really got that, really, until I heard that song, right? I heard it at a concert and I was like, my god, this is the best ever. Ooh, really good trinket there as well. Really good trinket, right. We are going to go and off ourselves in certain ways. I'm not sure how yet. Right. Good. Good, good. Right, now we can start using this to get black hearts. Good stuff. Right, this floor is dunion rings. We are good to go. Let us be gone. Let us be gone. But yeah, good trinket. N doesn't give us homing, just gives us godhead aura on an oca on occasion, but still nice. Godhead aura every now and again. It helps. It certainly helps us do some extra damage. So we can actually use our half black heart here as a way to stave off um, losing our devil deal. And then we can... I, I'll probably go Angel Deals overall, but to stop losing our Devil Deal. And then from there, we can start killing ourselves again. So as this character, it's not exactly the best active, because it's going to be hard for us to stack HP without losing the ability to kill ourselves. But it's fine. I like doing this with them enemies. Just literally stand right up against them. These little bloody spiders are a pain in my ass. Oh! Okay, didn't realise Bobby Bombs would chase the little white spiders. That is very annoying and good to know. Very annoying indeed. Again, leave that on the ground for now. No reason picking that up yet until we've killed ourselves another time. Very horrible room here. Very horrible room indeed. Oh god, this room is, is gross in so many ways. Oh my god, I, I despise this room. Can this little stinger di dude die already? There you go. They slowly die over time, but like they, they, they die so slowly. It's like, come on. 
speed up that death just a little bit for me, buddy. Good item is going to be um, some sort of book, which I think is an active, unfortunately. It is. A bloody crap active as well. Yeah, not very good. Not very good at all. Not really sure why it's quality 3. I guess you get extra books. It's only a 20% chance. Not, not great. Good, good. These guys are annoying. Quickly crack that open, do our boss. Nah, no thank you on the pill front. Okay, this is fire dude, make sure he doesn't lob bombs at us. I'm not using my active right now because it means that if I get hit, I'll use a black heart, like, Damage him with a black heart, and then I can press space to get another half black heart to do more damage if I need to. I think it's pretty smart. I don't know why these troll bombs are a different sprite. I must have missed some when I was deleting them a while back. Kind of funky. There we got him there. We take this, and we go and off ourselves once more. Uh, here we go, here's a good place to do that. We can go back, we can use this once. Grab, grab. Ah, I probably should have gone in there before using all of this. Shit, I could have got, could have got into that room. A little bit silly of me, but it's okay, we got some good stats here. And we take this, go to the next floor, and I feel we've done a pretty good job here. I feel we're using Lazarus to his most, like, the, the biggest of his advantage. I actually really love that they made this change to Lazarus. It's such a huge, huge incentive to, like, play differently. I really like it. It's a lot of risk-reward. Makes the character a hell of a lot more, a lot more unique than he used to be. Also makes him still a good character for newcomers, too. These ones I'm just going to take, because I'm probably not going to kill myself this floor. I have a lot of HP. Of course, you never know, but not likely for us. You know what? Why am I doing this? Get me out of there. You know what? Come back in here. Buy that soul heart as well. Why not? Now we can start using this active properly. And then any other deaths on top of this are just a bonus. But I like to get at least two on under my belt. Bolsters our stats a little bit at least. Oh yeah, the extra god headshots are doing some good work. I like it. Bat boys. You're, you're reborn. You're reborn as well. Luckily, the reborn ones have about 10% of the HP as the full ones did, so... Oh god, bounced myself into that guy there. You guys rebirthing is not nice. Juicy sack. It's not bad. Not great either. Super pride. Your bombs do not hurt you, which I kind of expected, but still. Oh god, she does too. She does too. Is it a she? It's pink. Nine lives. Nine lives is a good grab here. Nice, okay. Things are things are looking pretty good for us right now, I'd say. Item-wise, things aren't the greatest. Kind of wish I'd gone Devil Deal now for the guppy chance. But yeah, item-wise, things aren't the greatest, but they're not bad either. Our trinket is good, our active item's really good, but our passives are all a bit meh. That was a chest and a half. Holy shit. That is quite the chest you've got there. Oh, I didn't eat the bomb. I was hoping he'd eat the bomb there because it's their uh, homing and it'd 
suck it into his face. Sadly not. Either way, he is very dead very quickly. And Whirling Leech is decent as well here. For a heart container. We've been to our item room, we've been to our shop. I think we could just leave this floor. I suppose there could be a chance for Steven, but... Eh. I'm not particularly... Like, as I say, it's a good floor. I like it, but I don't want to go backtracking all that way for it. It seems to be more likely that it shows on Caves 2 anyways. I don't think I've had it on Caves 1 yet. Now, the bad thing about this uh, active is it does mean we've always got a Chaos active, but that could play to our strengths with certain items and uh, and trinkets. Some We get some benefits from having certain Curses and having Curses active, so that could be decent in a way. These God Headshots are clutch as hell. Missing constantly, and the game's like, no, no, no. We're going to be generous. We're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You, you still hit that. Don't worry. Oh, God. Also, it means we're constantly generating a half black heart, which means that we're doing, like, the black heart room damage quite a lot when we get hit. Kind of useful. Right. Item roomy. Where art thou? There you go. Beautiful. Okay, this guy respawned into nothing and then spawned these guys. Well, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've had C-section. Again, happy to have it. Very happy to have it. It's been a very long while since I've had C-section. This might even be the first time this save file that we've had C-section. But yeah. this this The passive item thing that I was just talking about, ignore me. Poppycock. Absolute poppycock. We are now in the business of dealing good damage. Of course, fire rate is not amazing here. I would like a bit more fire rate, but not all bad. Oh, that was a bad hit. Beautiful. Lots of extra money. Again, we could go back and look for Steven, but I'm probably just going to go straight for the boss here. Based on how things are going right now. God damn, you gotta love C-section. It's so fun. Oh, no way! It gets a Godhead aura sometimes. Okay, that is... That is very, very nice. That makes it even better. Okay, this trinket has, uh... Has outdone itself now. Has outdone itself. We are going to have to leave a trinket behind at some point, so I really hope it's not this one that we have to leave behind. We've got two floors to find another trinket, which should be fairly easy. Oh, there's a reflected one there. I didn't see that. The health is looking pretty damn good. We're on for a good beast run as well, because we've got nine lives. Not that we're probably going to need them, but we have them. We do have them, just in case. I love the fact that it has a Godhead aura. That's so good. Obviously, it's a low chance for it, but still. Okay, we no longer need to use our active too much now. Unless we just want to turn our soul hearts into black hearts, I guess. That's not super necessary. I guess there's no downside to it, though. Slightly annoying on these enemies here. Yeah, I just want fire right now, really. Maybe a tear effect to go along with this. Keys have a equal chance to become any type of key. Okay, so there's our trinket at least. Let's hold that for now and then come back for the tomato. Get him. Get him. Golden key. Ow. Annoying room here for C-section. Because these guys pop up and pop down all the time. But they're in the end, though. Right, boss time. 
adversary. Shouldn't be too bad. Aha, I dodge a brimstone this time. Oh, not this time though. <laughs> Damn it. There's our angel deal. Uh, fire rates, please. Fire rates. No fire rate. We do get damage and luck, which is both pretty good. An angel deal is going to give us... Firing a T has a chance to shoot out nine ghost tiers that Herman and enemies apply knockback and great uh, applies knockback and great tier um, cooldown after firing. Eyes will glow white for the next shot. This is tricky because Crown of Lights, of course, amazing. Crown of Lights, real good. But I really hope this works. I'm gonna be really bummed if I take this and it doesn't work with C section, but I'm gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna fight this guy just to test it out. Oh, no, it does work. Nice. It does work. Good to see. Oh, there's a spike rock there. What the hell? Obviously, Crown of Light's probably better overall, but this seems fun. Right, back. So, drop this in here. Back we go. It's just slightly more fun. Godhead Aura. Soul Heart we don't need. Yeah, so it fires out nine ghosts and then they whip around to an enemy. Yeah, like I said, probably not as good as Crown of Light, but cool. I think it's just neat. It's Neato Burrito. There's a Tears Up and there's Cancer. Cancer's amazing. There's some tears we were looking for, but cancer there is really good too. Okay. Oh, where we go? Um. Yeah, let's just go. We've left our trinket behind. Good, good. We're all set in that department. We are good to go. Yeah, basically my thinking was Crown of Light's good, but the... The other thing's new, potentially interesting. And also, Crown of Light on the Beast fight, if I get hit once, it's then deactivated and does nothing. So, in that circumstance, it's not that good. I like the fact that those can proc um, Godhead. Pretty fun. Right. We're speeding through at the minute. Getting a lot of these skeleton enemies. A lot of them. Kind of weird, yo. Kind of weird. Oh my god. Lots of respawning enemies here. No, thank you. Do not want your type respawning, please. But here's our boss. We still want to see our item room first, though. We need to get our fool card and stuff anyways. Gonna be a quick run, this is. Gonna be a quick run. C-section always makes a run quick. Uh, even if you're respawning, you're going to die quick. I, s I love this godhead idea. It's so cool. Hmm. Isaac's tears attract enemies. Now, this is interesting. Do I... See, th th this, is, this is tricky. Do I want Strange Attractor, or do I want to roll for something a lot better? I've got money. I think I'm going to roll. Strange Attractor could be good. I mean, <laughs> aren't we glad that we did this? Aren't we glad that we did this? Jacob's Ladder with this setup is great. Really? How How is it not all dead yet? Come on. Um, fortunately, no. I don't think anything there's worthwhile to us. Right, still just looking for our little skull. I might have already passed it. I, I I tend to do that quite often where I forget about it initially. Right, 
Electric babies. I love it. Now they've got a bit of AoE to them. There it is. Got that full card. We are ready to go. Wow, this has been a speedy one so far. A very speedy one indeed. Speedy in DD. Right. Fire up on the boss. Ghosties are helping. God headshots will help a ton as well if we can get a bunch of those going. Honestly, the damage output isn't crazy because we've not had, like, many damage ups. I think our only damage ups have been from killing ourselves, actually, so... Our damage isn't insane. But it's good enough, definitely. And we've already done boss rush, right? So we can full card out of here. Mustard seed is obviously amazing. We've used it plenty of times before. Fruitcake takes the cake. Fruitcake is god tier. Any, any time of day. I don't know how it isn't quality four. I guess because it can hurt you. But um, I absolutely love fruitcake just for the craziness of tier effects. With C-section as well, it's going to be crazy good. It, it, it puts our damage output up by a lot. Us, ooh, I just realized as well, especially with Jacob's Ladder, because electricity can chain to your effects. This is going to be pretty nutty. I like this a lot. Look at that, every single one of them feared by that electricity then. And that's going to be happening with all sorts of different effects. Oh, do I love this. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll save this for after. Big boy up there. Don't really know what he's doing. Here's that boss. There you go. It's been so long since I've seen Fruitcake as well. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite items. Ah, that still hit me. God damn it. I could go for a reroll of our stats here, but I think that's probably a bit of a bad idea. Check what the other item was now. Fire, um, okay, so slight damage down. I'm gonna try this. This could be bad damage overall. I'm gonna see how it works. It might be real good. Basically, I'm hoping that every tick of a C-section baby that does damage, it'll fire lasers. That's my hope. That seems to be exactly, a, that seems to be exactly how it works. This is, I'm glad I did this. This seems to be pretty nutty. Like, look, the, the entire room just got absolutely belted there. Can these enemies bugger off, please? Good, good. It buggered off. Lots of lasers doing lots of stuff. I like it. And then this floor should be where we get a cracked key. Just like his father. Yeah, I like this. This was a damage down in terms of stat, but damage up in terms of actual DPS output. Sadly wrong way here. <laughs> I love this module thing. Oh, dude. I think at this point, we take Cancer instead. I love the Godly Tomato, but that's a huge fire rate increase.
The DPS we're getting from that is better than the Godhead aura, I think. Especially considering Fruitcake can still give us Godhead. Teleporting all over the place. I'm happy. This is this is the sort of run I needed in my life right now. Sort of thing I needed. <laughs> so crazy when that goes off with the ghosts and just hits everything. Oop, I want my crack key, please. Thank you. Oh my god, some enemies are getting insta deleted. Is that active again here? Keeping our uh, black hearts going with the active. This active is just so good. <laughs> yeah, I love the tech module. It's it, it's really hard to create a new tech item that's interesting and not like kind of a gimmick. And I think this one is a really good one. Honestly, something wicked if you haven't downloaded the mod pack already. It's not available publicly, so go and check it out on the um, the Isaac section of my Discord and download it. It's fucking fantastic. It's a really, really good mod. Everyone should try it. I still, I think it's still not publicly available though, which I don't really know why at this point. It really should be, but it's up to the developer, I guess. Would be useful if we needed it, but we do not. So many enemies are getting euthanasia. One second, I've got like a really itchy spot on my head. Oh, goddamn. Not like an actual spot, just like a location, is what I meant. Right, well that, we, we absolutely freemed the ascent here. This is a very quick run. Yeah, Fruitcake plus the tick damage of C-section plus Jacob's Ladder plus this extra tech. All the effects are just proccing so crazily all the time. Doubt it'll be this way, but I'll try it. Oh no, it might be. <laughs> wow, that's a long floor. All gold, baby. All gold. There we go. Okay. Boss time. We should destroy the boss here. Well, this has been a speedy run. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Good. Give me mum's perfume. Ah, that's actually pretty good. I'll accept that. Right. It is time. Look at the amount of lasers. Like, the damage output isn't actually that insane on our static boss. Still. It's still pretty good. For all the crap that's going on, you think it'd be dying a bit faster. Dude, you've done this laser attack so many times now. My laser attack is better. I'm telling you now, don't do your spinny bullshit multiple times in a row this time. Because last time you did that, it was really annoying. Of course you did the spinny bullshit attack. It just does it so many times. Why why isn't three enough? Why does it have to be five? Like, just so many times. Just chill. 
And don't do it again straight away, because I know you can. Bullshit! You should not be allowed to do that attack twice in a row. Attack is just not fun to play against. It makes it take way longer to kill the boss than it should. There you go, you're dead. On to the beast. This is going to be beast being creamed, destroyed, annihilated. <laughs> he got frozen straight away. These bosses will die much quicker, I think. They can be affected by everything a bit more. Freeze you, put you in place and stuff. Ghosts are doing a good job too. There you go, frozen again. Into phase two. Dude, I'm so glad I took this tech item. It's so crazy. What a great item. <laughs> Look at all the coins and cards. I wish I could get some of those cards. I might be able to grab one. Power. Why not? <laughs> Seem a bit stuck down there, laddie. Seem a bit stuck down there. Oh no, you broke my holy mantle. Whatever am I going to do? <laughs> oh my god. Soul of Judas. Wipe we'll as many of these as we can. Ready for our incoming next friend. Oh my god. Soul of Judas him, because why not? <laughs> okay, Soul of Judas kind of bugged out there a little bit. I don't know what really happened. I think the bugger tears are causing some crazy shit to go down right now. And that's part of the reason there's so much electricity. Second phase, my guy. Second phase. This might be the most enjoyable C-section run I've ever had. Got it early enough to enjoy it for a majority of the run. Got it in a situation where, where I was able to use it without synergy, and the synergy grew over time. So I feel like whenever I get C-section, I either get it too late into the run to thoroughly enjoy it, or I already have a crazy synergy that I'm enjoying, and so it just adds on to an already crazy synergy. Whereas this one, we had basically no synergy and then built it up over time. Where are you going, sir? Get back down here. It's raining coins, baby. Raining coins. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Well, where are you going, good big boy? Where are you going? Oh, nope, you're back off screen again. You died off screen. Lol. Remember, we've got cancer in effect as well here, so we're taking half damage now. We're taking half heart. You all ready, big boy? You all ready for this? I can probably just chill and let the stalagmites kill themselves for the most part. Right. <laughs> oh. Fruitcake, you are a beauty. You are amazing, fruitcake. I love you. bombs where I can here. With herming bombs, I can use them a little more liberally than I would normally. I think we've already got him into last phase. Like, basically, he's going to do this, turn around, and then, yeah, he's in last phase. Nice. 
I think it's like 40% HP when he reaches last phase. Just the victory lap now. Beautiful run. Absolutely gorgeous. Super enjoyable. The C-section run of everyone's dreams. What an introduction to C-section for this series. First time using it, you get just this godly run. Either way, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that. I very much did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.